this is one of the good things I think that came from our committee is that we heard and listened to the EPA administrator talk about the problems and we asked why they couldn't fire this person. She said she needed help. She needed assistance. She needed strengthening in the law. And if, to that end, if this will help her, I think this is a much, much needed bill. It is indeed when you hear this story. I mean, the latest good news from the Environmental Protection Agency is how they are taking on the major task of cleaning up our skies by regulating greenhouse gas emissions from airplanes, which on face seems to be exactly what an agency such as this should be doing. Then you begin to wonder how they'll have time to accomplish this laudable task and the rest of their agenda while their workers are moonlighting at other gigs and when they're not watching porn on government computers. We're joined by the former chair of the Senate Committee on Agriculture, Nutrition and Forestry and former Democratic Senator from the great state of Arkansas. Welcome Blanche Lincoln to Midpoint. Senator, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Ed. I appreciate you having me. It is my pleasure when we look into this because every time somebody thinks of the EPA, you think about this wonderful organization that many people would say tries to do the best thing for Americans here. Yet I've got in front of me a list of things such as, let's see, senior worker moonlighting, uh, investigators finding that a guy who masqueraded as a CIA agent to steal $900,000 in government pay and watching porn on the computers. How did this agency get so far out of control? Well, I'm not sure how it got so far out of control, but it is a, a big distraction to what they're supposed to be doing. And I think also um, it's something that has to be wrapped up quickly. Uh, they need to correct it and they need to move on. Um, there's no doubt about that. But that's why you get an IG. That's why, um, you know, uh, particularly um, as chairman of committees and other things, you have to make sure that agencies are accountable. Um, and that's an important part that Congress has. They have the, the, not only the opportunity, but the responsibility uh, of oversight for agencies. And it's important that they bring those things to light. But most importantly is that it's a, as a distraction, it's keeping um, EPA from being focused on um, what they're doing and how they're doing it. And I think that's something that's important for us to talk about because, I mean, you've got uh, the possibility of a, a revision of an ozone rule that's just so unnecessary where you know we've got something that's actually working um we've had 20 percent reduction in the ozone since two, uh, 2000 and uh, you're looking at, at opportunities here where we could do even more if we would continue on the right track so, so let's, distractions are not something that need to happen let's do this senator let's then talk about this what is the epa doing to stop this from happening and not only that but you talk about committees and the government and oversight is there what are we doing then in those cases to bring them under control and make sure they're doing what the taxpayers are paying for well i think first of all you're shedding light on it um, you know, sunlight's a, a good thing, and uh, when those things come out, then it gives these agencies uh, not only the opportunity to correct themselves, but actually the visibility that they've got to do something if they're going to be taken seriously on, on other matters. And um, I, I think that, again, it, it, it just it's, it's a huge distraction from what needs to be focused on. And Congress, um, unfortunately, in their responsibility of oversight, has to bring this up. But they should be talking about the things that this agency is designed to do and whether or not they're doing them correctly um, and to the benefit of, of what they want that outcome to be. And that's why, you know, um, I bring up uh, the, the, that ozone rule. I mean, the fact is, is it, it's compromising to communities that are trying to grow the economy. Um, they're already making great strides, but to come in with a revised rule, um, it would be, you know, unpredictable and, and it would be costly um, to these very communities that are, are you know, making great strides and, and getting done what the objective is that, that, uh, that the EPA put out in their original ozone rule. So um, those are things that are important. Um, you know, making sure that agencies get the message that they have to come back and, and, and come to focus on, on what needs to happen and what they need, what's most important there is to be listening and seeing what actually is getting done and in a practical way figure out what they should be doing um, and what they're wasting time on. So let me and do this. Again, I, when I, there's distractions, that's a tough thing. I got about 45 seconds left, Senator. Why is this important to you? Because we're putting this in the light of day and you're doing the same thing. 
I think it's important because once again, I think what's, th there, there are other things to shed light on and that is when there's distractions like this, who knows in, what's going on and, and what's in charge, but most importantly that again you're hearing talk about things like a, a revision of a, of a rule that's working. Um, you know, that could unfortunately cause, um, you know, communities to lose the opportunity to grow their economy. You've got great opposition to it coming from um, more than half of the governors out there. Um, you know, so you're not talking about the issues of the day and what's important to have in the discussion of whether or not we're doing the right thing through the agency. Um, you know, it, it, with all those distractions and Congress distracted with its oversight like this um, in an IG report, they're not talking about the issues and now we are um, and what it is that these public servants are here to do so that's exactly that's important right. to me and what, that is to focus on what we need to be doing what you're doing and what we're doing is putting this in the light of day blanche lincoln senator thank you so much for joining us we're going to make sure we get the word out thank you ed all right Appreciate here's a question me. now what would you do if your co-workers or employees did these things send your comments to newsmax tv backslash comments let us know what you would do coming up next medicine and more